hero just uh, did it again. Maybe he's uh, better than uh, some of the guys uh, at the University of the Games. You be the judge. So this is the place to buy limoncello from. So they are the kings of the lemons. I can't tell you how good the perfume coming from here is. Uh, there must be tons and tons of uh, lemons uh, from the Amalfi Coast. And it's uh, really, really nice. The people uh, of the Amalfi Coast uh, love uh, Roman divinities uh, like uh, Eros and uh, Bacchus. So love and wine for you. The mermaids are coming up from the sea. A vision of the sky and uh, the famous uh, Mediterranean pine. One thing you should uh, bear in mind uh, when you're hiking along uh, Costiera and Path of the Gods is that going downhill, you wouldn't believe this, is easier than going uphill. The scent of lemons is uh, not the only nice uh, smell of the Amalfi Coast. Back uh, in Agerola, this is uh, a view of uh, the ocean and Salerno on the far left with uh, the Bay of uh, Conca dei Marini, Furore with the fjord that we can't see from here just under us, Praiano to the right and then uh, far far in the distance uh, the smaller islands of uh, Galli and even further beyond the eye of a camera Capri with the famous Faraglioni rocks. I can show you the start of, of the Path of the Gods. Something uh, not everyone knows is that if you want to shorten uh, your route a little bit, you can get here by car and park your car here free of charge. Emergency number to phone uh, for uh, any uh, difficulty is uh, 118. The typical uh, biscuit uh, of Agerola is uh, made uh, out of uh, corn flour and uh, it's uh, really a uh, fresilla, a kind of a bruschetta you would uh, eat with uh, fresh tomatoes and basil and olive oil and uh, this uh, rock face uh, is very rugged and it looks like the typical uh, biscuit of Agerola so the grotto is called Grotta del Biscotto. The winter a shepherd uh, keeps uh, his goats uh, up uh, in this grotto and also down here and uh, in that uh, construction uh, right uh, on the verge uh, of a drop whereas uh, here we have uh, what looks like uh, a mule but uh, we can't be too sure it might even be a donkey he's very fond of a view 7 p.m. is an excellent time to take a walk along the path of the gods because it's the only cool time of the day. Organizers of the trail races sometimes mark the course of a race with sprays of red paint. Since I last came here in May there has been a landslide but somebody has tried to prevent other stones from falling. The path uh, going uh, towards uh, Nocelle from uh, Gerola is uh, slightly downhill so uh, keep your energies if you want to make it uh, the way back because it will be uphill on the way back. Many people uh, choose uh, to take the trek uh, from Gerola to Nocelle then uh, they rest a while uh, in Nocelle and uh, from Nocelle they go down uh, a series of uh, steps that take them to Monte Bertuso. Monte Bertuso is um, a place uh, famous uh, because uh, it means a hole in the mountain and uh, there literally is a hole in the mountain. A legend has it that uh, the hole uh, was uh, done uh, by the Madonna in a competition uh, against uh, the devil who was ultimately unable to uh, make a hole through the mountain. From uh, Monte Bertuso you can go down, down, down 3,000 steps uh, to Positano and I can assure you your uh, legs will be trembling uh, once you get down. From Positano you can catch uh, a bus uh, to Amalfi and then uh, from Amalfi you can catch uh, another bus uh, 
back to Agerola but you have to time yourself and uh, make sure there will be buses on the way back because the uh, taxis are very expensive this part of uh, the path with uh, the rock uh, jutting out is called Colle Serra and uh, from here to Bomerano it's roughly 1k so uh, these uh, guys uh, we met along uh, the path of the gods uh, uh, did uh, the exact uh, itinerary I was uh, speaking about. So from Bomerano they walked uh, to Nocelle, from Nocelle down to Positano and back. So how was it uh, walking down 3,000 steps? Warm. <laughs> Warm. Down there not too bad but up, uh, up to Nocelle was... We had to stop. So uh, the worst part for you is going down? Downhill or uphill? Uh, it's worse for the knees when so you go downhill. So your knees get sore when you go downhill and then uh, your, lungs get you, your, your, sore when your heart and your lungs will have to work a lot going uphill. How early in the morning did you go? We started at 7. 7 a.m. Okay. So 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. are good times, right? Very good times. It's the best one. Where are you guys from? Norway. Norway and Sweden. All right. Okay. So very, very far north. Did you use the sunscreen? Lots. Lots. This one especially. <laughs> Did you uh, take the path for wearing flip-flops? No. No, absolutely there's not. No, and there's so. no possible way with flip-flops. Like. So, so these guys are really good, well, well organized. They have uh, proper backpacks, uh, they have uh, technical gear, they have uh, good uh, walking shoes on, uh, whereas uh, some of the locals are wearing uh, flip-flops. A flop, a But uh, they, they have uh, tough feet. And also, uh, the shoes are more expensive. <laughs> yeah, I would say. Yeah, so he's uh, flops. So he's walking up from the beach. That's why he's wearing flip flops. So this is uh, the best view of uh, the path of the gods. You can see uh, clearly this time uh, the Galli Islands and uh, far again in the distance uh, Capri. In case you need water, there are a few fountains uh, between uh, Bomerano and uh, Praiano. This is uh, the first one. Uh, the next one is uh, at the intersection uh, that I will show you later. This uh, water fountain is at uh, Colle Serra. From here to Agerola, it will take around uh, 2 kilometers or 2.5 kilometers. And uh, if you take a left, you go down to Praiano. If you take uh, the right, you go to Nocelle, Positano, or even uh, the convent of uh, San Domenico, which is that uh, white construction you can see below us. These uh, have become uh, very expensive around uh, Agerola and the Path of the Gods. And uh, this one, or rather the remains of this house, is for sale and uh, they are asking for 300,000 euros. Many, many kilometers after we finally made it uh, to the end of a path. This is uh, another hidden uh, water fountain, but you have to know where the tap is. Do you recognize uh, the pine uh, that I showed you earlier in Furore? Now this is the very last thing you should know about uh, the path of the gods. If you're tired after a day's trek and uh, you want some food uh, that's uh, affordable, not the same prices of uh, the Amalfi Coast, then uh, look for my friend uh, Mascolo's uh, restaurant. You'll always be greeted uh, with a big smile, especially if you say you're Sean's friend. See you later guys, my turn to get some food. Uh, good night, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel.